go browsing the internet the other day for an alternator. I wanted to convert the 52 Chevy to an uh, internally regulated alternator. I came across this guy. Um, very, very cheap, like almost too good to be too cheap. And I bought it. And when it came, when it arrived, um, I realized why it's so cheap. The connection for the um, internal regulation connection is actually at the bottom of the alternator, as is the charging connection. Um, that's not going to work for me. It's got to be near the top or at the top. So what I'm going to show you how to do today is to re reclock the alternator so that this can be at the top. Let's start by taking a look at the tools we need. It's really this simple. Just a ratchet to disconnect the bolts. In this case, this is an eight millimeter. Um, they won't be super tight. So if you have a screwdriver with an eight millimeter on the end, this will work too. And then some kind of small nail. This is a nail that I uh, use to hang pictures and such. So you can get in a picture hanging collection or, but any real small nail will, will suffice. The first thing you need to do before you start disconnecting anything is make sure that the brushes don't move. You don't want them popping out. They're spring loaded. The brushes uh, are under this, um, which is a like a bushing for the alternator shaft. So you'll see that there's a little hole here. And inside that hole, you can see it goes down into the alternator. You need to get something small, um, like this nail, and push it down into that hole to get the brushes held into place. And this is going to need to go in straight. So you have to fiddle with it a bit till it goes in enough so that you know it's through the brushes and to the other side, which I believe this is. And if it's not, yeah, yeah, I believe that's in, that's in one brush, two brush, yep. Yeah. yeah, so you can actually feel it. There's two brushes in there. Um, now I'm gonna take this apart and if I've got this nail in right, it should be very, very simple to get back together. Okay, scratch that um, eight millimeter. 516 actually fits a lot better. I'm surprised that it's not metric, but in this case it's not. So I'm going to use 516. Taking the first bolt out here. Very unique individual bolt, so just put it aside and don't lose it. There's four in total. So just take the four out. I'll get right back to you. All right, all four out. Let's see how this guy comes apart. Okay, see that? Just lifted right off with one hand. And it looks like everything is okay in here. There are the brushes. Let me put this down so I can point at them. The brushes go in here. You can see my nail sticking up here. So the brushes were held in perfectly by that nail. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. This looks like it's going to be pretty easy. A little concern is that there's some... Hmm. Quite a bit of wear on the uh, commutator. Hmm. Didn't expect to see that, but maybe maybe that's normal from the testing procedure that they use on these when they're rebuilt. Okay, now all I'm gonna do is take this piece, turn it, and drop it back on. All right, and tighten the screws. Up. I'm just finger tightening them at first until all four are in, in case something is not aligned perfectly. But it looks like we're good here. So now I'm just going to tighten them with the ratchet. They're all tight now. The alternator is spinning just fine. 
and he has the top mount. Now we have the connection for the regulator right on top where I wanted it. We have the connection um, for the output right where I wanted it. So we're good to go. All I need to do, pull out the nail and we're all good. Now this can go in. That's as simple as that. That's how you reclock an alternator. So if you're at a swap meet, you see one and it doesn't look quite right, quite aligned, or um, you see a, a uh, alternator at um, a junkyard, doesn't look quite aligned, you can buy it anyway and just fix it this way. Hope you enjoyed this. Hope it was useful. Have a good day.